That's the goal. But when you want to really, really do your work, you should be able to keep seat, sit down, make sure that you find... Uh, you can put in one contest as brain drain, but you put in another contest as a useful uh, venture because it went to a very top school and I'm teaching in a very top school. So I'm using all the experience that I've gotten and bringing them here. Uh, I did my first degree at K University and did uh, my PhD at uh, Georgia Tech, the US. After getting my PhD, I got a job offer uh, from Duke uh, right, right away and I've been at Duke ever since. Uh, history is long. With engineering, it started uh, probably five years ago when I, I thought that uh, I could also use some, some of my engineering expertise to help the uh, College of Engineering at AK University. I helped to set up an MSc program that really integrates all forms of engineering uh, into one uh, perspective, using geophysics as a tool to help solve some of the engineering problems. I supervise uh, about uh, two PhD students. Uh, there's a research program that I also help to develop, uh, trying to look at the environmental hazards for the auto mechanics uh, workers in, in Ghana. I'm having, um, doing my master's in geotechnical engineering, and this what I'm doing is trying to use the dipole dipole array to detect cavity in the laboratory. It's going to be used mostly, probably, in the highways for pavement engineering. The purpose of the project is to apply geophysics into tackling environmental issues. Geophysics is a new technique being employed in Ghana. Uh, after my MSc, I plan to get a job, work, get some experience, and probably later on do my PhD. It's tentative and it's... Prof. Fred Bodhi is very approachable. Anytime you call on him, whatever you are facing, whether he's here in Ghana or even in the U.S., when you call on him, for any difficulty you're having with your project or assignment, he's ever ready to teach you or make you understand. It's, it's, it's a privilege because we, we, he tries to blend what he teaches over there with the local method here. And we get also access to um, technology. I think uh, uh, these days, every university wants to go global, especially for us in Africa and in Ghana especially. So usually whilst we link up with uh, the professors or uh, colleagues who left here some time ago, it gives us that uh, collaborative edge. So we are able to collaborate with them in terms of research and other, other things because obviously where they are, they have uh, a little bit better facilities there and the funding there for research is also good. Okay. Professor Fred Buedu brings a lot of experience. You know, he is uh, more experienced in the geophysics with respect to engineering applications and the environment. And you, you can see the guys are quite uh, encouraged when they see somebody from Duke teaching a model here on, on a course here. So it, it motivates the students. And we also learn a few things, you know. <laughs> We are still young men, so we need to pick one or two things from him. I think, I think it's a, <coughs> a very important program, and uh, um, the, uh, how it's going to help pro project the university as a whole uh, is something that I think uh, is quite durable. Um, uh, I, I think they should uh, try and get a, the right people because uh, there has been numerous occasions where some people come and it may not be right. So, for instance, uh, you know, they are um, very good, able lecturers here who teach, for instance. Uh, so, you don't want to come and duplicate what people do, but you want to have an add on value. So, and that being, you know, if you do research and you think that you can even streamline the research in a way that they can use localized materials. So somebody in that realm is really, really zooming in and making an impact. But if you just ad hocly pick people to come, it won't make any difference. Uh, there, there's a student that I brought from here, KNUST, who got it from here, and I, I brought him to Duke. And uh, I did a PhD with me. And at Duke, he was one of the top students. Did very, very well. So the same product from here, when you go outside, do a cell. 
But I think the difference is the, the motivation, the challenge, and the resources. But otherwise, I think uh, things are fine. The past deans and the provosts are doing a fantastic job in setting up and, and moving the, the college forward. So that is what really en encourages us to come and help more, you know, so that I think people have sacrificed and put a lot of effort. So we all have to come in and chip in and, and, and do what we can do.